a German specialty chemicals company, Evonik, ups its investment here in Singapore. It is producing another 40,000 tons a year of the chemical methionin that is used in animal feed. The 13% increase at its Jurong Island complex marks a new milestone for the chemicals producer. But it also signals growing interest in Singapore's sustainable chemicals industry. The expansion brings Evonik's methionine capacity to 340,000 tonnes a year. The nutritional compound is used in feed for animals like chicken and shrimp. The added output comes as Asia's appetite for meat continues to grow. Evonik says most of it will be exported to other countries in the region, including Malaysia and Australia. The company operates two methionine plants in Singapore, which serves as its regional hub. This is a very, very strategic uh, place in terms of logistics. Yeah. So we can distribute our products uh, from here, from Jurong Island, very nicely into, not only into Asia, but into the world. Of course, the main uh, destinations for our products being produced here is Asia. There is also a green advantage. Evonik says its production generates steam, which it uses to produce electricity on site. It also has technology to enable the use of green hydrogen. Singapore's Economic Development Board says the new expanded facility, Simex, is a welcomed push towards energy efficient production that adds to the growing number of companies keen to partner Singapore in its decarbonisation efforts. Speaking at the plant's opening, the Sustainability and the Environment Minister says the expansion strengthens the company's standing here as the largest methionine production facility in the world. Cymex not only marks a new milestone in Evonik's growth, but also signals the start of the next bound of growth for Singapore's energy and chemicals industry. We welcome partnerships with companies like Evonik to seize growth opportunities in the demand for specialty and sustainable chemicals, particularly in fast-growing end markets such as nutrition and agriculture, care com chemicals, pharmaceuticals and mobility. So what exactly is methionine and why is it important in serving a fast-growing demand for healthy meat in Asia? Let's take a closer look. Firstly, methionine is a critical building block in food protein. It is added to the feed of animals such as poultry to boost their nutritional value. It is also said to promote egg production and improve the immune system of animals. Now, there can also be benefits to the environment. For example, methionine can replace soybean meal, a commonly used protein source in animal feeds that generates greenhouse gases. Methionine's estimated global market value was over US 6 billion US dollars in 2023, with major players coming from Germany, China, and Japan. Demand is set to soar in the coming years, fueled by a growing appetite for meat in Asia, especially in China and India. Now, for more on this, I speak now with Professor William Chen, Director of Singapore Agri-Food Innovation Lab, a national platform to use innovative ways to produce food. Prof Chen is also Director in the Food Science and Technology Program at NTU Singapore. Professor Chen, thank you very much for joining us today. So here. share with us, Prof, why is methionine such a big deal in agri-food innovation right now? Well, uh as we know, methionine is an essential amino acid that animals do not produce. Therefore, they take from their, the, from their diet, uh, from their feet, mm. and uh, uh, even including human beings. So, um, it, therefore, it plays a very important role as uh, additive to make sure that the animals can properly produce synthesized protein in the body. So, therefore, we see this methane being uh, uh, added as a, a feed additive to all the animal feed. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, we, when we look at the long term, in terms of sustainability, we know that uh, most of the crops, up to 70% of the crops uh, that is grown globally, has been channeled to, to, to be animal feed. And that is clearly not sustainable with all these uh, environmental issues that we are seeing. Mm -hmm. So moving forward, what we are going to see is that 
looking for alternative way to produce animal feed and methane actually come into the right place. And talk to us about the significance of this expansion by Ivonic. The complex is already the largest in the world, accounting for over 40% of the global market. Is Asia eating a lot more meat right now? Well, uh, we should look at it from a different uh, various perspective, not just about Asian eating more meat. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, this is a growing trend, but we also need to see that the, the significance of uh, expansion of this company in Singapore is more or less to strengthen Singapore's position as a global hub uh, for supply chain. Because uh, globally, this company only has three production sites, one in Europe, one in the US, mm. the, 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 the other one will be is in Singapore. Therefore, this will strengthen Singapore's position as a hub, not just to, you know, uh, no, uh, to move the commodity, uh, the trading hub, but also uh, increasingly to become more on the innovation and uh, uh, driven type of hub, therefore value add to Singapore's economy. So it is going to strengthen Singapore's position as a hub, as you mentioned. But to what extent are we growing the food, tech and feed additives industry? And what does this really mean for Singapore's chemical industry? Well, if we talk about food industry, we are talking, you know, uh, Singapore government has pushed out this uh, ambitious initiative to enhance uh, uh, our food security. And uh, we also need to look at the, when we talk about uh, maybe growing, um, you know, uh, enhance uh, agri urban agriculture or uh, aquaculture space. Uh, one missing element is actually the the value chain, the the the, the feed, the upstream part. Mm. So having this uh, facility in Singapore will strengthen our resilience in terms of building a, a a very sustainable supply chain for our food security. What role will Singapore play in meeting Asia's demand for meat, fish, and egg production in the long term? Well, I was, I was, I see this as a really a catalyst uh, to spark, to trigger, you know, to to inspire more innovation in terms of uh, formulation of new animal feed, and then look for material that we have in the country. Like, for example, processing side streams can be another uh, component for the future sustainable. Uh, animal feed for mm. to to beef up our food security. So uh, with all this uh, uh, important component of the animal feed, and it will also trigger the innovation, the, the environment to push for the food security. Very much like uh, what the uh, Enterprise Singapore has set up recently, the Singapore Agri Food uh, Agri Food Innovation Lab mm. to sort of. Uh, connect all these uh, solution providers with uh, companies which have a demand for solutions. As we've said earlier, Prof, it is the world's largest uh, methionine producing facility. On sustainability though, how resource heavy is it to produce methionine in terms of water and electricity? Well, we know this uh, large scale production uh, plant they need water to cool down, to wash the many different uses of water. Electricity is, uh, is uh, we know that the energy consumption is high. So what, what is encouraging that we see here is actually they use the innovations to sort of, instead of using fresh water, they use seawater because they use corro corrosion resistant materials. Sure. As well as using a new generation of electrolyzer to generate green energy to power the the production plant, so we see that this can be you know the you know inspiration for other chemical industry to adopt this kind of sustainable uh, practice to lower the cost while pushing for the production level. Professor Chen, thank you very much for speaking with us tonight. Uh, that was Professor William Chen from the Singapore Agri Food Innovation Lab and NTU Singapore.